In this demonstration, you'll see three ways to install Hyper-V on Windows Server 2019. So we start in the Server Manager console, and from the Manage drop-down, we select Add Roles and Features, we select Next, we go with Role-based or Feature-based installation, we select the server SEA ADM1, we click Next, we select the Hyper-V role, we click Next. We click Next because we don't want to add any features. We click Next again. We're not going to configure any virtual switches. We're not going to configure any migration settings. And we're going to use the default storage location. We get the confirmation page saying you want to install Hyper-V. I click Install. That begins the installation process. Now, installing Hyper-V requires you restart the computer. So here I right click on the Start menu and I click Restart. I click continue and the server restarts. Once the server's restarted, I sign back on as Contoso Administrator. I click the start menu again. I go to Windows, Administrative Tools. Now here, I'm selecting the Services Console. And one way to verify that Hyper-V is installed on a server and working is to go in and look at the Hyper-V services, such as the Host Compute Service, the Hyper-V host service, and the virtual machine management service. If all those services are running, Hyper-V has successfully been installed. I go and I open an administrative PowerShell session. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove using PowerShell that feature that I just installed, because we're showing you installation using a variety of different tools. So I run the command that removes Hyper-V. The server restarts, because if you add it, it has to restart, and if you remove it, it has to restart. So we sign back on to the server that's had Hyper-V removed. I next open Windows Admin Center. In Windows Admin Center, I select SEA ADM1. I then select Roles and Features. I select the Hyper-V role. I select Install. And I select the option to reboot the server automatically. So here we're looking at installing using Windows Admin Center. We started with the Server Manager console. We sign back in after the server's rebooted. We go back to Windows Admin Center. We connect to SEA ADM1. We select the virtual machines node that's now available, and we can see the inventory and the summary. No virtual machines on this server, so none in the inventory. We can also go to roles and features, and we can verify that the Hyper-V PowerShell commandlets are available. So under Hyper-V management tools, we see that both the management tools and PowerShell are installed. And to verify that, we open up an administrative PowerShell session, and we run the command get command module Hyper-V out grid view. And that provides a graphical representation of all of the Hyper-V related commandlets in that module, which you can see on the screen here. I close that dialog box. I go back to the All Connections page of Windows Admin Center. I select SEA SVR1. Now SEA SVR1 already has Hyper-V installed on it. I select the PowerShell option in Windows Admin Center and that automatically connects me as a remote PowerShell session to that server. I'm running here the Get Windows Feature Hyper-V command and I see that Hyper-V is installed. I remove it using PowerShell using this remote session through the web browser. It tells me to restart the server, but it will automatically do that because I use restart in the commandlet. I wait for that restart to occur. I click connect. I authenticate again. I make my PowerShell web-based window a little bigger. So here I use install Windows feature, name Hyper-V, computer name SEA SVR1, include the management tools. So I've just shown you how to install Hyper-V using PowerShell. I exit while the server restarts because I'm running this 
on the SEA ADM1, that's where this console is running. So I again establish a remote connection. I then check the Windows feature to determine which features are installed. It collects the data and it shows me that Hyper-V is now installed via PowerShell on this Windows Server 2019 instance. In that demonstration, you saw me install and remove Hyper-V using the Server Manager console, using Windows Admin Center and using PowerShell.